So tell me if this sounds familiar. Maybe you read How to Win Friends and Influence Them, but you still have no friends. Maybe you read Models, but you still struggle with women. Maybe you read The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck, but you still care about what people think of you. Yeah, I'm obviously not speaking from experience at all. Jokes aside, this is a real problem because what's the point of reading if you never use the information supplied in the books? There is none, you're wasting your time. So I spent the last week developing a system to show you why this happens and how to stop reading and start making changes in your life. I'm going to pick up a book that I wanted to apply to my life but haven't. So what book should I choose? When choosing a book, I have some questions I ask myself. What do I want to learn? Why do I want to learn this? What information do I need? And what book is going to be the best in delivering this information? These questions help me avoid the reading trap because there is so much information out there and there are so many books covering so many topics. So it's a good idea to be very selective on what books you read. A good way to think about it is you are here but you want to be over here. So you need a book that takes you on a journey from where you are to where you want to be. It's a transformative journey. I remember this book. I picked it up when I finished the Wim Hof Method. <clears throat> okay, let's start reading this again. So now that I'm a couple chapters into this thing, I'm starting to remember the broad strokes of the book. Some books are like a tsunami crashing onto a beach. It's powerful, it changes the land, and it leaves a lasting memory. But eventually the tide recedes, the land dries, and those memories so too fade. So you need a remembering system to bring you back to those moments. Because how in the world are you going to use this information if you're not remembering it in the first place? One of the main reasons why I wanted to chat with you is because I have this problem where I read a, a nonfiction book and then I completely forget about everything. Like I can look at that book and be like, I don't remember one or two things from this book. How can we get better at remembering what we read and putting into practice what we read? Basically, as I read a book, I fold pages as I'm reading and then I make notes to myself. I'm highlighting the things that I'm liking. And then what I do as a writer, because I wanna use a lot of this information, is I then transfer the stuff that I really liked or that really impacted me and I, I put them on note cards. And so I just write the thought that I had that it inspired, or I write down the story and then I sort those note cards by theme. So I'm kind of creating like an exterior brain that organizes the stuff that I took from the book. So I notice I have this habit, I'll be reading the book and when I get to the end of the chapter, I will continue going to the next chapter instead of putting it down and kind of digesting what I actually read. Particularly because I do most of my reading when I'm about to go to sleep. And falling asleep obviously makes remembering what you read a little bit harder. What I want to try is after each chapter, I want to recall one to three of the main points in the chapter work out how I could apply that to my own life to improve it in terms of what goal I want to have. And I need to be able to put it into some database where I can filter by tags or categories and kind of build an external mind like we saw in the in Matt Devella's video. Preparing to do the thing isn't doing the thing. Scheduling time to do the thing isn't doing the thing. Making a to-do list for the thing isn't doing the thing. Telling people you're going to do the thing isn't doing the thing. Messaging friends who may or may not be doing the thing isn't doing the thing. Writing a banger tweet about how you're going to do the thing isn't doing the thing. Hating on yourself for not doing the thing isn't doing the thing. Hating on other people who have done the thing isn't doing the thing. Hating on the obstacles in the way of you doing the thing isn't doing the thing. Fantasizing about all of the adoration you'll receive once you do the thing isn't doing the thing. Reading about how to do the thing isn't doing the thing. Reading about how other people did the thing isn't doing the thing. Reading this essay isn't doing the thing. The only thing that is doing the thing is doing the thing. So Chris is right. Reading about the thing is not the same as doing the thing. So I know what I want to improve. I have a book that's going to take me on that journey. I know how to use the information. All I have to do now is do it. That's the tricky part. 
The part that we always forget, no, ignore. Often I think we fall into the trap of a then I'll be ready mindset. It's a mindset of I need to learn this and then I'll be ready. It's like, no bro, you are ready. Stop avoiding the thing and go do the thing. Otherwise you fall into the reading trap of learning so many things, but not executing on anything. And so you will never see changes in your life. I picked up breath because I wanted to know how changing the way I breathe would change my life, but I never committed to the practice. This week, however, I have made it a part of my morning routine and I plan to stick to it no matter what. Okay, so now you're committing to a practice, but there is still one massive obstacle in your way, distractions. Unless you're able to manage distractions and procrastination, sticking to a consistent practice is going to be more difficult. So watch this video if you want to destroy your procrastination forever. I'm Josh, thanks for being here. See you in the video.